Hello YouTube, uh, this is the Bicycle Enthusiast again. I'm going to do a review on another product that I really like, which is the Topeak uh, Pocket Rocket Master Blaster Mini Pump. So that right there, I think, sort of, you see it, Pocket Rocket. Uh, this is, uh, you know, this is made for like emergency purposes, if you're stuck on the road and you just need to quickly pump up your tires a little bit. Uh, it takes a while to fill uh, to fill up your tires with this. It takes a lot of pumping power. You know, it, you might break a sweat here and there, but it's an excellent it's an excellent pump. I really like it. Uh, I might not even get a regular standard pump just because this is convenient enough, especially if you just you're at home and you have plenty of time. This is all I need. Uh, so I'll just show you how it works. This is it's designed for Presta and Schrader valves, and the way that happens is there's when you take the head off, right now if you look oh, if you look inside, there's maybe you can't see, but there, there's nothing blocking in here, right? This is made for Schrader's Schrader valves. Uh, it swallows the Schrader, swallows the valve. You pull up this trigger right here, and that creates a seal. You turn, open the pump, and you start pumping. Pretty simple. So I'm going to demonstrate that. I'm going to close this again, and first I just want to show you how if you have a road bike and you have a Presta valve, for example, you take off this cap, comes off very easily, and this is a little harder to pull out. There are two rubber pieces in here, and Topic has a video of this. Uh, what you do is to switch it to either setting, it's a little hard to pull these things out. Actually, the easy way is just to push this, yeah, there we go. So you pull out these rubber inserts and you reverse both of them and that'll switch it to Presta. So you see it right here. Okay, there are these two pieces, right? So if you this is for Schrader. Let's say if I wanted Presta, you pull it out. That's how it is. This one goes like that. This one goes like that. And now you see it, there's a much smaller hole. Uh, it goes back in this way. I'm not going to put it all the way in because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to do Schrader valves, but uh, that's how you would do it for a Presta valve. So I need it to be Schrader. So pull it apart, reverse both, and insert this piece into there, and that's for Schraders, and put this all the way back inside. Get, get it in. The important thing is, just like with the Topic D2 Smart Gauge, you need patience for this. Um, it took me a while before I finally understood how exactly to use this. The way to do it is not just to try to get the pump onto the valve and then start pumping. You really have to press hard, and with a lot of with some strength, you're going to have to pull open this lever. It doesn't open very easily, and when it's really not moving, and when you pump. It should go very easily. Like it's a very, very, you know, low resistance pump. You're not really going to be using a lot of strength, even though you're going to have to do a lot of reps for it, just because there's so little air in here that you won't be able to pump your tires up fast enough. So, what I, how I do it, I always extend the pump out, take the valve. The the what you what you have to understand is that because it's a pretty good uh, product, I mean, there's rubber thread threading in here, and I was afraid of tearing that when I was trying to get it onto the valve. It, there's that's not a concern you should be worried. You know, that's not something you should worry yourself about. Uh, you should just really press on the valve. Just like really first has this has to be closed. So you just stick the pump right onto the valve and press as hard as you can, and while holding, pull open this lever and that's how it's going to look so I'm going to it I think it takes to get like 5 psi uh, you're going to need about maybe 20 pumps maybe even more um, it releases actually let me just show you what this setting is right now and I'll just do 20 pumps and you'll see how long it takes. Uh, it's still a good pump, but again, it is a mini pump. It's not made for... Alright, right now I have 35 PSI in this tire. I'm going to try to get it to at least 45, maybe more. So, get that on. 
and that released just a little bit of air and pull that up and yep that's perfect so if you see there should be absolutely it should not bounce back if it bounces back while you're pushing up that's bad see when it, when it stays that way that's the exact how that's the exact uh, way you need it to be because uh, my issue was I kept thinking I had a good seal and what would happen is I wouldn't be able to like get past this barrier like it would go like this and I thought air was going in and every time I see my tires are, the ex are exactly the same so it goes in and that's it there's two I counted approximately 40 pumps, so I'll show you how much I've inflated. Actually, I'm going to make both hands for this, sorry. See, 40 pumps, so I was actually wrong, it's even, it's even less air than I thought, and it's only 39. Um, so, that was... I mean, I didn't break a sweat. That wasn't hard at all. But if you're really depressed tires and need them to go, you know, if you have to inflate 50 PSI, let's say, you're going to be doing it for a while, maybe 5, 10 minutes at least. And that's of constant pumping. Nonetheless, it's a really good pump. So it's very solid. I mean, you could even use it, like, as a self-defense weapon, honestly. It could be, like, the Kubaton. <coughs> Sorry, I had to cut the video. Uh... The pump comes with a mounting bracket right here. It's made to go right along with your bottle cage holder. Now, I don't have a bottle cage holder here because I have this lock. It's an on-guard lock. I'll just take it off. And as you see, it, it sort of contours right, really well with the down tube. You just attach it right here to the bosses, and it stays there solid. doesn't move at all. Um, I, to protect the paint and the plastic, what I did was, I have here like a piece of rubber band. I took a rubber band and cut it up into a bunch of little pieces and wrapped these parts with electrical tape and then sort of made holes so that the bosses would fit through. This way, the paint doesn't get scratched and the plastic doesn't get scratched from the bosses. It's just like an extra precaution I took. I just felt like doing it. Uh, it's held, the pump gets held by like a rubber o-ring um, and I was worried this might rip but I think it's really really solid, it's not going to go anywhere I'll just show you how the pump, I usually put it down like this it snaps into place, sorry and it doesn't move, uh, it's really, even even if it had no o-ring I don't think it would fall out at any time um, you know, I keep it this way so just in case this thing doesn't end up extending down here and blocking me. If anything, this opens, you know, somehow by some miracle it'll end up like this. It won't be bothering me. And so I just lock that. And you can just pull the O-ring, put it on around the first little part, and then just roll it over here. And that's it. And it doesn't move. It's completely solid. It never gets in the way of my legs. Uh... You know, if you have an extra water bottle and you don't have a lock like I do hanging down from here, you could easily easily have two water bottle cages. Put, you know, like I have my air sound, and uh, that's it. That's the review for the Topeak Pocket Rocket Master Blaster Mini Pump. Really good item. Thanks for watching.